commercialize our beautiful bodies. There was a boyfriend who gave a gift to his girlfriend, a piece of clothing. Say, sweetheart, this is for you. Happy birthday. Try it on. The girlfriend tried it on and came out of the room and said, sweetheart, don't you think it's a little bit short? No? She put it on as a skirt. Sweetheart, it's a little bit too short. The boyfriend said, no, it's not a skirt, it's a headband. <laughs> <laughs> now, the smaller, the more expensive. Gowns are very cheap. Right? Yeah. Can't you see it that when women pack, they pack very light? Because their clothing are very small. <laughs> I'm not Christian ladies, of course. And not my wife. My wife spent two weeks in the Philippines with two luggages going there. Three luggages when she comes back. Because she won't pass a lobo for you. Yeah. Yeah. But come on, we live in a. In, especially here in America, you can see billboards not saying, well, thank God for billboards. Trust God. Thank God for the Lord Jesus is doing. Yeah. You go to our town in San Fernando Valley, there are billboards. Two for one lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Only no. No, huh? No, no, no. See? And what is it promoting? I don't know. That's that's why you know, we live in this world. Pornography is very just one click. You're hooked. Number four. Why do why do people? I thought this would be a very short sermon. I was thinking to myself, oh my, this will be a very short sermon. No, I thought I'm lonely. <laughs> Joy comes from the word. Cheers. No, you're not. You're deceived. You may commit adultery <coughs> when you said you're lonely. You committed adultery, you will not only be lonely, you will suffer. Next slide. Oh. The greatest antidote to adultery is maintaining an intimacy with God. This is the last, di Last? Last? Oh, I saw Maggie. Happy birthday, Maggie, yesterday. She turned 38 yesterday. <laughs> and we are in the year 1994. 58. How, if that is 58? Look at that. Kaya kong magsing. Kaya kong mag, kaya kong magsing. Hindi, pandali eh. Kaya ang pastor niyo kong magsing. Kasi Lord, ka na. Being blessed by beautiful wife, equally beautiful inside. Yeah. The greatest antidote of the... Again, di ba I told you, adultery started with your unfaithfulness with God. So go back to the root. How can we fight this evil of adultery? Maintain. 
developed an intimacy with God. What is the first step in David's adultery? Distraction. He was distracted when he's supposed to be focusing on his service, when he was supposed to be focusing in his worship, in his service to God. He was doing something else. Let's keep ourselves busy with our intimacy, developing a relationship with God. That is the greatest antidote to commit this dirty sin of adultery. And no one is excluded. Don't say you're not, you're not a girl or you're not a guy or don't say you're not married. In this perverted society, everyone is. situation, maybe to our questions, but we thank you because, as I have said, this is not to point fingers, this is not to condemn, this is not to judge, but this sermon is aimed so we can focus on a forgiving God, that we may be guilty, yes, that our hands are not clean, yes, and who will ever say our hands are dirtier and yours are not that dirty? Who can ever say? Because sin is sin. But thank God we don't we do not glorify sin. We glorify forgiveness. We glorify love. We glorify grace. We glorify the faithfulness of our God. The devil condemns. The devil judges. The devil will put us down, but God will pick us up. The devil will highlight our wrongs. God will highlight His forgiveness, His grace, His love, so abounding. And Father, we thank You because all of our sins have been forgiven, past, present, and future, by the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we stand by the word of God that says what therefore Jesus had set free is free indeed. We are free, Lord. We are forgiven and we are free. Lord, I pray for all married couples in this church. I pray for stronger unity, intimacy, greater amount of agape love be poured out upon all married couples in this church in the name of Jesus. 
that when the devil comes to steal, to kill, and destroy, they cannot cross the bloodline of Jesus. I pray for the blood of Jesus for our married couples in the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against any married couple will succeed in this church in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I pray for stronger marital ties. I pray for stronger marriages in this church in the name of Jesus, Father. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for single people, Lord, that when they come to marriage, may we have a high attitude about marriage. The holiness of marriage, oh Father God. I pray, Lord, that the future marriages that will that will be that will be celebrated in this church will be strong. Because it is founded on the rock it is not a two-fold relationship but a three-fold cord that cannot be broken in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you and Father we pray for those who have been hurt betrayed those who have been abandoned those who have been victims of other people's sin of adultery I pray, Father God, that you comfort them. Pray, God, that you strengthen them. I pray, God, you tell them that the destiny that you have for them is not dependent upon the life of any other people. But your destiny is sure. Your destiny is secure. Your destiny will happen. And the plans that you have for us are good. And it will not be destroyed just because of any other man's or woman's sins it will not affect your great plan just because of other people's mistakes father we thank you and may we be so serious because committing this sin is not committing this sin to ourselves or our partners alone or to our kids most of all to you we thank you and we praise you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your tears. And praise God, let us celebrate marriage. Hallelujah. Let's uh, go to our offering. Now, I have to tell you, also, I think we need to put this into writing about our pledges. I hope we hope to collect mission pledges today. Although it's a long week now, yeah. third week, uh, we hope to collect some mission pledges because we really need some mission pledges. Uh, we barely made it this month again. Praise God, you know. So if we can barely make it this month, how much more if we want to expand our mission uh, endeavor? So please. Be faithful to our mission pledges. If it is only ten dollars, twenty dollars, praise God. Be faithful. Everyone being faithful will make our budget exceed our budget for the missions. And please don't rob your tithes and offering to the mission. Missions is the mission. Tithes and tithes and offering is offering. I can say this to you because our this church is an old church. We're not really old. We are mature church. Okay. If I offend you. Stay on, I will offend you more. So it's up to you. But really, with, with finances, praise God. Uh, let us be faithful with our tithing and with our offering. Who's praying for our tithing? Morning, everyone. Welcome back to me. For my being simple, I just want to thank God, first of all, that I'm back in home. And for the last two weeks that I'm out, and it's been very tough for us, for the family, and we thank you for all your prayers and support Amen. Amen. for the passing away of my dad. He's now in heaven. Amen. Anyway, uh, mission is the heart of God. Amen? Amen. I've been there for another week to uh, settle down and make sure that our Hope Center Philippines is doing good for the glory of God. And I am so very much blessed to tell you and to share with you all our all of the all our achievement or their achievement what's going on in there. So being hope for the world 
Church USA, bear in mind that uh, you have another twin church there that is really ongoing, very productive, and continue reaching out, touching lives, and bringing hope to other, to the hopeless people out there in the vicinity. And we call that Hope Center of the Philippines. Amen? Amen. The vision is so big and large, and God has uh, mandated us to support. And as what the, uh, Pastor Nodi said, uh, we are committed to commit ourselves for this mission and endeavor. Not only in Bulacan, in Butuan, and in the Bao, which God has called us. Amen? Uh, I would like to uh, uh, give you a, some uh, heads, heads up of what's going on in there. Uh, one of the local company, which is called Ramkar Corporation, through the uh, kind-hearted of our uh, own uh, DK Santiago, uh, that's uh, both the uh, uh, niece of Maggie and uh, Aida, is uh, presently uh, working and it's been approved that we will have uh, worth 150,000 pesos of uh, hopeless pavilion at the back of the center. Give the Lord a present for that. And it will be soon that they will construct it for us. Amen? So that's the work of the Lord in that area. One more thing, our very own uh, Joy and um, Ryan, who visited the Hope Center Philippines, after they have fed those the, uh, children and give toys, they're so happy. Uh, the, the children, the kids, their kids are so happy distributing all these gifts Amen. to the children. And so they were touched by the Lord to supply their musical instrument. They will donate wow. to the Hope Center oh, the electric yeah. guitar and the arms wow. and also the drum sets. And thanks yes. to that. They will and thank you for the touch of the Lord. And all of us here will be the one to be, uh, you know, by, uh, as the Lord bless us in every day of our lives, for sure God will always be there on top of us. Amen? Amen. Let us pray for our tithes and offering. And this is an intention for us to, to honor the Lord with our offerings and tithes for this moment. Lord, we just praise you and just thank you for this time that we were able to give you the best that we have in our life. You said in your words that uh, don't be wary of doing good for in due season you will reap we don't lose our heart. And today, Lord, bless this tithe and offering and return all these portions back, hundred folds to those people who will give and those people that cannot give will have the chance to give and honor you. We pray that these tithes and offerings will be used solely for the purpose of propagating your mission in the Philippines and the other parts of the world. We thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Nolly said last week we'll have a lot of fun and games, alright? So, also, a quick reminder, a reminder for today is uh, the maintenance team yeah. will be the redeem and the ROD. Amen? So, please keep the passion alive. <laughs> huh? Uh, 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 95 inclusive of the board and the uh, meals. Kapag, because we have limited cottages, limited uh, rooms. Kapag wala ng rooms, 
65. It will cover uh, your meals plus you will be in a hall. Hindi na hindi na siya rooms. So uh, first come first serve ito. So if you now there are people like the young people, uh, they, all, they don't have a lot of money. They want to only pay 65. So do see this a hall or you can pitch a tent. You can also pitch a tent 65 dollars. Uh, or 95 if you want to have a bed and a restroom inside the room. And an AC too. Yes. How many so it will be in Camp Ibarra. Camp Ibarra. It is a nice campsite. A simple campsite with simple amenities. There's a swimming pool. There's a volleyball court. Basketball court. Uh, there's trails where you can exercise. And, and there's a small uh, sapa. Now, we are printing. Now, I have to say this. Anyway, we are actually celebrating our 14th anniversary of the camp. Yeah. We're actually celebrating our 14th anniversary there. On that Sunday, August 27. Is it 27? Yes. August 27. We are holding our service morning, Sunday morning service over there. Okay? And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, have you seen Director Patrick's design? Yes. Now, we are printing that on a very nice t-shirt. Remember the, the Hope t-shirt? That good quality of t-shirt. We are printing it on that good quality t-shirt. So, uh, it's a commemorative t-shirt celebrating our 14th year anniversary. Okay? So, we have to find. Have you seen the design? <laughs> Who have not seen, seen the design? It's very nice. Okay? So, uh, now, give your sizes, important ito, give your sizes to your Hope Group leaders this week. Or to anyone. So, we can, we can, uh, Place the orders already. Medium, small, medium, XL. I think there is extra for double XL or triple XL. But uh, and the, anyway, the, it's small. You you may do my little T-shirt. So uh, uh, we're, we will be planning for the program. There will be a lot of funds as kids and, and, and fellowshipping and everything. Let's don't be stressed. It, there, there will not be a lot of. Uh, I mean, it, it will not be a stressful camp. Right? It will be a joyful, fun camp. Yeah. It will be a family camp. Right? Okay. So, uh, what else? I think that's about it. It's uh, twelve o'clock. It's time to go home. We don't have food. Mm -hmm. We're full. We're full. Yeah. Uh, let me see yet. I think it, it cost. Uh, I think I think I got it cheaper if there are more. I think I got it for six dollars or seven dollars. I think six or seven dollars, yeah. So yeah, that, that's that's good. That's that's not expensive. If we can buy t shirts more expensive than that, then we can afford it. Right? Let's all stand. Brother June Samson will close us in prayer. Everyone is blessed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's close in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for another Sunday, another week. Blessed week that you have blessed us, each and every one of us, Lord, our families, Father God. Thank you for allowing us to have another Sunday, yeah. just for us to be give thanks and praise us to you, O oh Father God. Thank you for the words. May we always be reminded that we have you to run to, not this world, not anything else. May your words be our light, be our beacon in times of darkness, in times of trials and tribulations, and not for us to run and have an excuse to be in this world, oh Father God. Father, may we be reminded, continue to cover us with your most precious blood, oh Father God, as we tackle another week, oh Lord. Yes. May, we always, may we always be reminded that we have you by our yes. side, in yes. times of darkness, in times of sorrow, in times of 
all the trials and tribulations that we will face, O oh Father God. Those are nothing. Those are nothing compared to having you as our Lord, as our God, O oh Father God. Continue to be with us. Continue to hold us. Continue to be the foundation of our hearts and our home. O oh Father God, this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is shining.